How's it going everybody? So today we are going to be installing a new tailgate latch and this one has a backup camera in it and it also has a lock. My tailgate latch does not have a lock so we are going to be adding one and I purchased one of those right here which did not come with the retainer clip but the retainer clip actually came with this particular piece so we have the um, the cords here uh, for the actual camera itself and then we also have the wiring harness that goes all the way uh, to the actual camera itself um, this actually should plug in here uh, so yeah, we are going to be installing this today, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, let's get started. Hi everybody, my name's Solomon, and you're watching the Third Beer Channel. So now that we got this installed, we got the lock installed, coded to my key. I didn't show you that part, I'm not going to. You can look that up, it's not that hard. And it comes with instructions, which I really like this particular model of uh, uh, backup camera so far, uh, because some of them, if you look on YouTube, they're very unsecure. Uh, but this one is snug, it is tight on here. And I mean, it, it looks really good. Looks like it belongs here. Uh, I don't know how the camera quality is yet, but we're going to test it. I believe it's probably going to be pretty good. So, uh, got it in there. Uh, you guys saw that I used a close, uh, a literal clothes hanger um, to feed it down through the open hole here on the passenger side. Wire is down here. Here's the end wire here like this. So, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually come connect these uh, the wire that's going to go up underneath the harness. I'm going to zip tie it to the bottom. There's two sides to it. You've got this side with this connection. This is going to plug in to this port right here uh, and start it. And then you have this connection here, which uh, has a port that's going to go into the back of the radio and it also has a power wire. So this one's a little different than a lot of the ones that you see on YouTube. Um, they have multi, like ground wires and power wires and all kinds of different things that you can get. But uh, this one only has the input wire for the radio and a power wire. And then this one uh, also has uh, a ground wire and a power wire that you can actually wire it to the uh, reverse light here on the back. But we're not going to do that because we want to be able to use the camera for other things than just when we go into reverse we can actually check if we're tall in something we can check our load but we're not gonna so we're not gonna use these we'll probably uh, cut them off and seal them up so let's get started on this uh, beware uh, you might get a little seasick because I will be up underneath the truck and stuff but that's kind of where we're at so let's get going all right folks so here's a look under the truck at what i'm doing i'm not going to be able to film all of this um, but i'll give you a gist of what's going on so uh what we're looking at is this wire right here um this wire harness right here uh this follow you can follow this all the way under the truck and it goes all the way to the front and it actually gets bigger but uh we're going to be uh, actually attaching the wire uh with zip ties I'll probably have to use some electrical tape too. That's just, I'm going to have to be honest. My zip ties are kind of crappy and there's some really hard to reach places in here. But it is what it is. 
Um, this is some of the extra wire from the, the camera. I just bundled it up, zip tied it, and then zip tied it to the wire here. That's just kind of my fix. Uh, it's real tight under here and my back's kind of hurting laying on the ground, but I'm doing what I can. So it's running along this wire, zip tying it to the wire, and I'm having to feed it through some areas and that's just kind of how we're doing it. So um, that's what's going on. I'll just keep going through these tight little areas here and uh, follow it all the way to the truck, to the front of the truck. And then once I get to the front, then we'll, we'll come back. All right, so I got the wiring wired all the way up underneath the truck until about right here, um, right where the hole goes or well where where one of the wirings goes up underneath the uh, floorboard here which is the hole that we're actually going to run the wire up into um, but we got to get set up and to do that we have to uh, pop these panels off because we're going to actually run the wire up in and uh, pop them loose so stay tuned okay so i got the panels off and boy do i gotta get this thing vacuumed out um i'll do it some other time i, I actually that's one of my big goals uh in this uh truck revamp is to really get this thing cleaned and i mean i'm gonna pop these panels off and vacuum out of all this stuff but anyway this is uh the panels are off now um you can see the wiring here which we're actually going to be going into um, but this exposes where the hole is and you can see this grommet from the bottom too and we're going to actually be popping the wire through here uh, I poked the hole through here and we'll probably seal it up with some silicone and it'll cross over this and then we'll just run it up through here up underneath the dash and across to the radio itself so I'm gonna get that done and then we'll get to the next step. Okay, so now I've got everything ran over to here. It's under the dash, but now what I need to do is I need to run it up under the dash up under here into this cavity, get it secured, and then we're gonna hook it into here. So, whew, already got the radio pulled down. So let's get that started. It is hot, hot, hot here in Florida. So I'm getting kind of tired and this has been a long process. So let's go ahead and find a place for this to go up underneath. Try to get this fed underneath so I can start securing it. Gosh, I don't even know where to start. All right, folks, so we finally got this thing, finally drug through all the way under the dash which was literally to get it from underneath the dash and through here let me tell you it was a bloody pain in the butt I have never done that before but we got her done the way it needs to be and let me tell you I don't want to do that again but here we go we got the end of it here and so we've got the plug-in and we have a power wire so <clears throat> This is the plug-in for the backup camera. And if you look at it, it has a uh, input plug, female version, <laughs> the power wire and a ground wire. And this one only has a power wire and the input version, the male, male side. So I can't find any information on here. Um, so I'm wondering, uh, I know obviously you plug this in here, but do I just go ahead and get these two together, but well, do I need to ground it somehow? There's obviously no way to ground this one. So I'm assuming I just do go ahead and connect it to the power this way, and, that's, and I don't have to worry about the ground, because there's obviously no way to ground this wire. So... Uh, let me go ahead and do that and see what happens and we'll we'll be back All right, so I uh, This is very basic. I just put the wires together got this plugged up just to see how it would work So 
what we're going to do is we're just going to turn it on real quick just to see if it works. I'm going to put it in reverse, see if it turns on. Now, I have the tailgate down, so it's literally going to be looking probably right at the, uh, uh, excuse me, the, the trailer hitch. Uh, but that's okay. We're just going to see if the camera turns on. So let's go ahead and turn the truck on, pull this up. So it just came on. That was kind of weird. It usually comes on pretty quick. I'm not sure why that happened. Let's put the can the uh, truck in reverse. All right, look, the camera's coming on. There we go. So we're looking down at the trailer hitch and everything. It's got two different lines, so I'll have to do some adjustments. But uh, the camera is on and it is working. So uh, that is awesome. Real sure why it's so light. I wonder if I can adjust the the picture at all. We'll have to see. But we got the camera working. That is great. I am very happy with that. We figured that out. So uh, you put the car back or the truck back into park. There we go. We'll go ahead and turn this off and uh, take the key out. Sweet. So I'm gonna put this back down. I uh, am going to unhook this, obviously because uh, I'm going to redo it and make the connection actually be really nice uh, like a real one get it uh, heat shrink wrapped and all that good stuff right there like that and uh, yeah we're going to button everything up I'm going to put the uh, uh, bed liner back on the tailgate and this job is finished yeah alright guys I got everything buttoned up here and put back together. Tailgate's up. Everything is buttoned up back there. By the way, uh, probably the reason why the picture is so messed up, <laughs> looks so bright and kind of fishy. I still had the sticker over the the stinking uh, camera, so I just I just peeled off that protective sticker. So we're gonna see how it looks and. Uh, yeah, check it out. Oh, my doors are open. It's okay. Put her in reverse. Oh, look at that picture. Wow, awesome. Yeah, I know the doors are open. Wow, I'm also going to enjoy this air conditioner for a minute. Alright, so let's see if we can do some settings here. Because I don't want both of these uh, both of these alert lights. It's weird, I don't see my actual tail tow hitch. Well, I don't actually have the tow hitch itself, and I bet if I did, it would stick out. Um, Alright, let's, let's go how I can do settings here. I guess I can't unless I'm. Alright. Let's go to settings. There we go. We I guess the the camera itself comes with one, and so does the the uh, Enon head. So now we have one, and look how much extra space we have. Man, it shows a lot. You can see a lot on each side. So I'm really really happy with it. The, 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 I don't know how happy I am with the. Um, with the uh, resolution. 
All right, folks, we got a little bit of a rain shower here in Florida. That's kind of typical here for Florida. It rains all the time in the summer and the fall. Uh, we're getting, cutting out of the, the wet season now, uh, so hopefully it'll stop, stop raining every day. But uh, this is going to conclude today's video, uh, installing the backup camera. The backup camera, as I've been running it for a few weeks, and i got to say, I really, really like it. The resolution on the video is not 100% the best that I, I that could have been and I don't know if that's the camera itself or it could be the head it's probably the camera uh, it's it's kind of a knockoff brand uh, the eway I don't I didn't really hear many um, I didn't see any YouTube videos on that particular brand but uh, as far as resolution goes it, it's it's okay uh, I can definitely see what I'm looking at uh, and when I'm reversing and there's plenty of view. I can see quite a bit uh, on left and right side, so there's plenty to see. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I love that I have a backup camera now in this 2009 Chevy Silverado because it did not have one at all. And it's just one more upgrade that I've been able to install here in this, this truck. And uh, I'm quite thrilled. So thank you guys for, for joining me for this on this journey. I really can't thank you guys enough. We're going to be doing some more upgrades. I've got the rear seats, which you can actually see the seat covers are already installed. But let me tell you, that video is coming. And that is a whole horse of a different color. That That is, whew, that is the job. That is a job. The, uh, the front seat covers were easy. The rear seat covers are awful. You're going to see how bad they are in the next video. I, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, it, it's, it's that bad. So uh, just make sure you stay tuned. Don't forget, we're also going to have some other videos. Not going to be just this project truck. Uh, I've got fishing videos coming, and I've got a bunch of other cool stuff coming. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of other things. Don't worry, it's not just the truck stuff. Um, just happens to be what I've been filming lately. So... Uh, make sure you've subscribed. Really appreciate your subscription. Like, comment, and share these videos. It really helps me out. I'm trying to build this channel up. And make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. And until next time, this is The Third Beard. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching The Third Beard channel. Here's a video selection, and here's a playlist suggestion. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.